Hi everyone, and thanks so much for tuning in to today's yoga video. As you can see, I am in a hotel. I am in a dress Dubai marina here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. And I'm really excited to partner with them to bring you this video here on YouTube. So what we're going to be doing is a couch yoga sequence. I thought it was perfect because I have a lot of bed yoga sequences and those are always really nice. But when I walked into the room that um, a dress Dubai marina had given me, I saw this couch and I thought, you know what? This is going to be perfect for people who are stuck at home, unable to get to the studio, or just wanting to switch things up and do something a little differently. So hop onto your couch and sit nice and tall, maybe with your legs crossed, or if your couch um, is really soft, you'll wanna sit kind of forward so that your pelvis tilts forward, your feet will be on the ground, knees facing forward. If your sofa is firm, um, that will be a little bit better for this kind of practice, just so you can sit really tall and you don't sink into it. So wherever you are, find your seated position that works best for you and bring your palms to face up and go ahead and take a couple deep breaths in and we'll get started. So with your eyes closed and mouth closed but teeth apart, take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth with a sigh. Just letting go of anything you're holding on to that's kind of bringing you down or stressing you out. Just for this moment, be present. Another deep breath in through your nose. And exhaling through your mouth. And as you do, empty out the lungs completely. And at the end of that exhale, take another deep breath in through your nose. And exhale fully through your mouth. Letting your mind become clear as you begin to belly breathe. So from here, you'll close your mouth, part your teeth, and just breathe in and out through your nose. Noticing that as you inhale, your belly gets bigger. And as you exhale, your belly button draws in towards your spine to empty out the lungs fully. From here, quietly open up your eyes. Bring your hands to your heart. Just take a deep breath in here, maybe setting an intention for your practice. And then when you're ready, quietly open up your eyes, interlace your fingers, and turn your palms out away from you as you round your back, lowering your chin to your chest. Inhale, flip the palms. Open up the arms as you inhale and come forward, interlacing your fingers the way that feels a little weird behind your back, pressing your palms together. So I always encourage a lot of movement when you breathe. So if it feels good to kind of bring your ears towards your shoulders, then go ahead and do that. Just find what works for you. Find, just figure out how you're feeling today. Gently release, open up your arms as you inhale, lift them up overhead, look up. As you exhale, swoop them down, coming into eagle arms. So left arm underneath right, squeezing your arms together. And then as you breathe, you can just gently pulsate up and down with the elbows, breathing into the space between the shoulder blades. So this is really good if you are experiencing a little bit of minor pain through the upper back. And from here, inhale, lift your arms up overhead, look up, reach as high as you can, maybe even shimmy side to side just to find space in between your ribs. And then as you exhale, we'll take it to the other side. So right arm underneath left, and gently pulsating as you squeeze the arms together. From here, gently release. Bring your hands down onto the couch and press the couch away so you're rounding your back, lowering chin to chest. And again, just playing with taking the ears from side to side, Noting what feels good, where you're feeling tight, and using the breath to send space and length to those areas of tightness. As you inhale, sit all the way up and just take a gentle stretch, gentle twist over to the right. Looking out over your right shoulder with your left eye, initiating the twist from the navel so you really get a full body twist here. Gentle compression on 
the internal organs here, and then as you exhale, gently release, come back to center. Deep breath in. And as you exhale, twist over to the other side, staying really tall through your spine, making this pretty passive stretch. So you're not really pulling too hard on the knee, not really worrying about how deep you twist, just kind of waking up the body really gently. Come back to center. From here, you're gonna take your left hand over to the left, leaning over, maybe even taking your palm um, or your forearm down to the ground. If you have a bolster or some sort of pillow, you can use that as a prop as well. And then as you inhale, lift the arm up overhead and then reach as far over as you can, making sure that your hips stay glued to the couch. From here, I want you to lower your chin to chest and take your fingertips down to the edge of your couch and just breathe into your side body, your upper back, lowering your head a little, and then inhale, lift and open. Look out underneath your armpit and really try to open up through your chest too. This is a good chest opener here. And then again, taking it down, lowering chin to chest, rounding through your upper back. And inhale, lift and open up, opening up through the chest, breathing into the armpit and shoulder area. As you inhale, come back to center. We'll take it to the other side. So you kind of slide on over and just find what works for you. If you want to stay up on your hand, that's cool. If you want to be down on your forearm, that's great as well. Just always tailoring the yoga to work for you and not tailoring you to work for the yoga. Just being in touch with how you're feeling and making sure that you're always moving within a pain-free range. From here, gently come down, chin to chest, rounding through your back, and then open up, looking out from underneath the armpit and really trying to get as long as you can. So you're breathing space and length from the top of your hip all the way to the tips of your fingers. Come down and open up. And then come back to center. So, so far we have worked through the upper back, the chest a little bit, the side body. Now we're gonna take it to the hips. So bring your feet together coming into a cobbler's pose here. Now if you're really tight, you're gonna to wanna to use some props. So if you have like a pillow that you can sit on the edge of, especially if your couch is kind of soft, you wanna like a farm pillow to just sit on the edge of and what that's going to do is tilt your pelvis slightly forward so that um, you can stay nice and long and lifted through your low back. Once your feet are together, take a look at your knees. If your knees are down like this, then that means you're quite open through your hips already. You don't need a prop underneath your knees. If your knees are up like this, then grab hold of any props you have nearby that can just support your legs so that you're not feeling a, a major pull through your inner thighs because you always want to be safe here. So find the props that work best for you, for where you are in your practice, and then when you're ready, just sit nice and tall, especially through your low back. You don't really want to round here. Then when you're ready, bring your thumbs into the arches of your feet and send yourself forward. Now, if your knees are up like this, you're gonna push into your elbows to encourage that openness through here, and you don't have to focus so much about on coming forward. It's more about just opening up through the knees first. If you're already open through your knees, you can come forward with your chest. So breathing space and length into any areas of tightness you're feeling through your hips. And then I always encourage a little bit of movement. So as you breathe, just kind of sway side to side, pausing wherever you need to in order to find openness. And then sit up nice and tall and bring your hands underneath your knees and press your knees together. Once you're here, bring your hands underneath your feet. So if you're using a prop, you might want to get rid of that. So hands underneath the feet and you're going to press into your hands with your feet, almost like you're pushing on the gas pedal in a car. So as you do that, your back will round. You should feel a really good stretch through your spine, through your upper back especially. And this also is getting into the backs of your hips. From here, rise up and sit tall and bring your feet down to the ground. Sitting on the edge of your couch, I want you to cross your left ankle over right thigh. As you do this, energetically, just you wanna make everything alive. So spread your toes of your 
um, left leg, and then take your knee and just energetically, without pushing on it, just pull it down towards the ground. So as you do that, you're gonna feel a really good stretch through your leg here, especially in the hip area. If you're quite open, you might wanna take it a step further by just kind of melting your upper body forward, not worrying so much about getting your head down, but it's more about belly towards thighs. Belly towards thighs is going to increase the stretch, deepen the stretch in that leg. Intending to keep your low back really long. Again, any kind of movements you wanna make side to side that will intensify the stretch a little bit more. So there's no real secret to flexibility. You just need to put in the consistent practice and make sure that you're breathing really deeply. Breath is the one thing that's really vital to opening up through tightness. As you inhale, sit tall and lift that knee up. Interlace your fingers around the knee. Sit really tall. Pull the knee in towards your chest and then gently release, and we'll take it to the other side. So you'll cross the ankle over the thigh, spread the toes, that's really important because it protects your ankle. Then from here, just energetically press this knee down towards the ground, and as you do that, you're gonna feel a good stretch through the side of your leg. Option to stay here if you're quite tight or if you're a little bit more open, you can play around with folding forward, and you may notice that one side is tighter than the other. This is definitely my tight side. You'll feel it immediately. That often just has to do with what's going on in your life off the mat. So if you are somebody who sits at your desk all day and you only cross your right leg instead of your left over right, then maybe you've developed a little bit of an imbalance and that might be the root cause of why you're tighter on one side versus the other. here, sit tall, interlace your fingers the way it feels a little weird, bring your knee in towards your chest, sit really tall, breathing into the back of the hip here, and then gently release. From here, bring your hands down onto your thighs, palms facing up, go ahead and roll your shoulders back, close your eyes and take a deep breath in, exhaling through your mouth, and then from here, bring your hands to your heart and just take a moment to acknowledge your practice. Setting an intention for the rest of your day. <clears throat> and when you're ready, seal in your practice with namaste. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section and I will do my best to be in touch as soon as I can. And if you're interested in ordering my book, Namaste, it is now available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and most major bookstores everywhere.